This is clarinet professor Kenneth Grant at the Eastman School of Music. But who are these guys? Engineering students from the other side of campus at the University of Rochester using the other side of their brains to teach the computer to play the clarinet too. The computer learns what the musician did to make the sound that the musician is making. So what the computer learns is their blowing pressure at every instant in time, what their mouth clamping force was on the reed. While you might think an electrical engineer and a music theorist would make a curious combo, Mark Bacco and Dave Headlam are pioneering a fusion of art and science that's music to the ears. And the idea is to combine the pre precision that you have in a computer with the aesthetic values you have in music and try to combine those in a way that's educationally sound and musically sound. With help from the National Science Foundation, Baco and his colleagues have also made huge strides in compressing audio files nearly a thousand times smaller than an MP3 file. But their research is not aimed at building a better iPod. Baco says this advancement could revolutionize video conferencing and someday musicians in different cities could perform together without a noticeable time lag. So this is a small echo-free room where we can place our musical instruments and do the uh, acoustic measurements that we then turn into a computer model. This is where Baco does a kind of musical forensics, bringing the tools of his trade to bear on musical instruments. We're just trying to capture the essential physics of how the instrument works. The computer can then turn sound into a visual display, showing students the subtle details of their musical notes. So the students in the practice room can observe some kind of display that helps them to train their ears. Of course, computers will never replace the skill and emotion of musicians like oboist Richard Kilmer. But as it turns out, music and electrical engineering make for a sweet, albeit unlikely, duet. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.